The mission of the Sierra Institute has been to improve the lives and well-being of people living in rural forest communities uh, and the landscapes on which they depend. The Dixie Fire burned about a million acres, much of it at high severity over the course of about two and a half months. Uh, really changed our, our perspective on what we needed to do in terms of forest restoration, brought a new level of urgency and challenged some of our prior ideas. The town of Greenville was absolutely devastated by the Dixie Fire. Roughly five to 600 structures and, and the vast majority of the business district were just destroyed. When the Dixie Fire hit, we knew we needed to rebuild quickly, we needed to rebuild differently. Sierra Institute built the very first cross-laminated timber building in the state of California. From that, we've moved on to the houses and we learned how to build more complex structures and that led us to the roundhouse. After the Dixie Fire, when we lost everything, we were in the position where we needed help. And so um, being able to work with the Sierra Institute and having them understand our needs, is, it's been a great sort of partnership. The Sierra Institute's involvement with this uh, project with the Roundhouse Council and our partnership with Indigenous and First Peoples community across California is so important because we need to heal our relationships and healing our relationships with the people who were here first, you know, comes with building trust, working on projects together, and, you know, supporting the needs of our tribal communities in the way that they, they need. The significance of this structure, of our new roundhouse building, is that it's a place, a physical structure, where we can all come together. One of the most powerful forms of healing is, is being able to come together and share space. And so that, as much as anything, is, is one of the most important aspects of, of uh, roundhouse, of what it's always been and what it will continue to be with this new building. The Dixie Fire burned 100,000 acres in a single night. So going to scale really means, you know, working at the scale that wildfires move and, and kind of impact the landscape. Sierra Institute's staff have brought additional capacity to agencies that have been struggling to maintain capacity to do this work at a time when we really need to scale up and do more, do it faster. And so it's been incredibly meaningful in allowing us to get to landscape scale. So some of the Sierra Institute's field crews are marking trees for harvest um, as part of forest restoration. Other crews are uh, preparing fire line for the use of prescribed fire. Other crews are doing wildlife surveys or botany surveys to ensure that we're, we have the appropriate resource protection measures in place. Um, those crews are critical in advancing work that otherwise we just wouldn't get to. We have to really be meeting the present need given climate change and drought and really kind of catalyze this effort that we're now working on called the West Lawson Headwaters Project, which is about 172,000 acres. But it's, you know, it's part of looking at the landscape, but also it requires thinking about, you know, okay, we're going to take all this material off the landscape. What are we going to do with it? And not just maybe let's burn it in the woods, but how can it support our economies and our rural communities and really kind of build this feedback loop where the restoration work we're doing that needs to happen is also supporting these communities we live in. We've relied on enormous subsidy to restore landscapes. We need the businesses that through the process of being businesses are employing people, helping communities, but then also simultaneously improving landscapes by the use of those products and doing so in a sustainable, thoughtful, uh, environmentally sound way. One of the ways we're actually piloting a regenerative economy is through the creation of businesses at our wood utilization campus. We're working towards planning 300,000 acres worth of restoration work right now, and that can directly feed into our small-scale sawmill, which can then directly feed into a CLT facility, and then hopefully start to rebuild towns like Greenville, which we've been doing, but also other towns that burn like Indian Falls and Warner Valley and Canyon Dam. We talk a lot about post-Dixie, but it's really like the time between fires, because there's going to be another fire. And we need to think about what really the system is to move things like, you know, products to things like CLT to then rebuild communities. I think in the future we hope to see that there are treatments on the landscape that allow us to live with fire so that when we have 
wildfire events, um, it's, it's not a catastrophic, life-threatening event. It can take a more natural role in the ecosystem. Um, it's a natural disturbance that these forests evolved with for thousands of years, and we want to help restore a condition in the forest that can support that process on the landscape.